Okay, so here's the situation. I went to the store the other day and I had some running to do. I had to pick up a couple things. I unlocked the car with the key fob. When I got in and I started driving down the road, the oil light uh, was dinging and flashing. Just super quick, but it was, it was there. And the red light for the security, for the alarm, was on steady. Was not blinking, it was just on. I knew something was wrong. I did my running, I got home. Luckily, I didn't have to shut it off anywhere that I had gone that day. I didn't have too much to do. I got home, I shut it off, the alarm went off. I hit the panic button on the remote. I started it and it did start. I shut it off because it didn't stop the alarm. I tried to start it again, it would not start. The horn was going off. The lights were flashing. The hazard lights were flashing. Not the headlights, which was a little odd, but... And the horns were just going nuts. I finally had to pull the fuses on the horn. I had to take the battery cables off the battery. So, since that moment, I have not been able to get this thing to start. I've hooked the battery up and the red light for the security system the alarm stays on steady it stays on it does not flash i have watched numerous videos on youtube 99.9 .9 percent of them the issue is with it flashing this is not flashing it is on steady it's totally locked out the one percent of videos i did find or 0.1 percent of videos i did find Weren't vehicles even close to this year, close to the style, make, model, nothing. So they, they, they didn't do me any good. We stopped at a key place. The battery was bad in the key fob. They put a new battery in, came home, still nothing. The alarm going off, key fob won't work. Not at all. So the guy came out, paid a service fee. <laughs> yeah. He hooked up two different computers to get the pin code and this Jeep will not let him in. It's he is everything is totally locked out. The door locks will lock with the actual vehicle locks. I'll show you in a minute. But the key fob does absolutely nothing. Uh, there's no key lock on the other door, on the passenger door, nothing on the tailgate, the, the, the back hatch, glass, nothing. I can't get this thing to start i can't get the light to flash the guy said even if he could get it to flash at least maybe he could get in and maybe tell me what's wrong he said it's either the key the immobilizer ring or the computer but he can't get in to tell now i've unhooked the battery i've let this has been almost a week now i've unhooked the battery i've unhooked the positive first i unhooked the negative first i cross both of them for 10 minutes for two hours overnight i've left the battery unhooked overnight i put both of them on uh, I, I put the positive on first i put the negative on first i put them both on as swiftly as i could at the same time i turn the door lock this way that way I, I i turned the key on but didn't try to start it i put a charger on the battery and left it sit for over an hour I did everything everybody says to do. I cannot get the light to flash. It stays on steady. And I can't get anything out of this vehicle. Now we did have a remote start put on it. A couple years ago. And for the first six months or so. Four or five different times. We had problems. The lights would flash. The horn wouldn't work. Even one. Two times. We got somewhere and tried to start it and it wouldn't start, but then a time or two of trying, then it started up and it was fine. But it's been a couple, it's been probably two years since that has happened. I don't think it's the alarm or the, the aftermarket remote, but I don't know. Because we can't get into it to tell. The light will not go out. And I'll show you here in a second. 
All right. Now, we got the negative on. I'm going to put the positive on. All right. That's what I got. The horn would be going off right now, but I pulled both fuses. The lights don't flash, but the hazards do. And I will show you the mess that is inside my car here. Okay. Now, now the light's flashing. And the hazards are on. I can hear mechanisms moving in the dash. Okay, now, I'm putting the key in. Turning it once, still flashing up there. Turn it again, everything comes on. That red light goes solid. And I got nothing. No sounds, no clicking, nothing. Because of that red light, not flashing at least, to where something could be done, it is totally locked out. And I have no freaking idea why. I have tried everything. Like I said, the guy even came out and he said it's one of three things. The key, the immobilizer ring, or the computer. But he can't read it because it's, he's locked out. I even had one of those little car MD things that you plug in. Uh, it's not that brand, but it, it's just a cheapie I bought. Which I've used, you know, on to find out when the check engine light comes on for uh, an exhaust, you know, sensor or something goofy like that. It didn't register anything. I mean, technically, there, there's no codes. There's no engine error codes. So it wouldn't read anything. But this is where we're at. I got, I got nothing. <clears throat> that light stays on. Now, when I shut it off, it'll blink. But when I turn that damn key on... It comes on solid and it stays and because of that I got it I, I can't do anything so if anybody has any ideas I really would appreciate it like I said I I unhooked the battery I, I everything you can find online everything you could try with the battery leaving it on for an hour leaving the key by the ignition I, I've tried it all and I I can't get that light to at least blink when the key is in. And that's where we need to be, I guess. But all, all I do know is I've got an expensive paperweight sitting here in my driveway. And here's the kicker. <laughs> Three more payments. In January, this thing would have been paid off. Well, it will be paid off. So I, I'm looking at the only thing I've had people tell me is I've got to have it towed, flatbedded to a dealership. So you've got all those costs. You you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, the the traction light comes on. It's it's so strange. Uh, but yeah, take it to a dealership. Sure, you know, pay more than what the the vehicle is worth just to get it fixed, and still have three payments left. That's awesome. So anyway, I know this video isn't helpful. But I'm asking if anybody knows anything uh, to, you know, help help me out. Like I said, if anybody knows anything, uh, if you could leave it in the comments, I would really appreciate it. If, if I get anywhere, I'll let you know. I'll post another video of what I did or how, how you know, I got it fixed or whatnot. I, I need the vehicle. I mean, everybody's got their sad story. You know what I mean? I get it. But I... I you know, and everybody's got to have their vehicle to do whatever they got to do. And this is a, a key part to our business and so on. So, uh, yeah, we're stuck. I'm stuck. And it's it's a problem. So, if anybody has any ideas, like I said, I, I tried the battery thing, the charger, leaving it on for an hour. Disconnect this one, disconnect that one. Connect the two of them together off the battery. Uh, you know, I got I got nothing. And even the, the guy... Uh, from the, the the key place <laughs> he, he didn't even have any ideas he's just as flabbergasted as i am he says he's never seen this before which is cool because that's just the way things work for me uh i usually have that thing that one item or, or one issue or one problem that that 
is very rare. And, uh, you know, that's the way life is. So anyway, you know, woe is me. <laughs> uh, if I get anything fixed, if I get anywhere, I would definitely let everybody know. And uh, if anybody else has this problem or has had this problem, please let me know. Uh, maybe we can help each other. Maybe you can help me. Then I can help somebody else. I don't know. And we'll see how it goes. So uh, until then, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe, pick a thumb, and poke that bell.